Yeah, well, CrossFit was, um, yeah, I played hockey, uh, collegiate hockey, and there was a guy I played hockey with who I still buddies with. This is about five years ago. And uh, one day he just says, hey, you ever heard of CrossFit? No, I have no idea what you're talking about. He's like, oh, you got to go online, look at this this thing. They call it the WAD, you know, and, and check it out. And 18-minute uh, Fran, that was my first time, and that's, uh, you know, ever since. And so, you know, obviously CrossFit's all about competition. Um, we had some small competitions in our gym, like those competitions. And um, I just put it out there one day to people. Um, didn't even, uh, you know, didn't even think about what I was saying really, and just said, "Hey guys, we're going to have this amazing event at the YMCA. It's going to be this cool thing. We're going to call it the Garage Games. It's happening, you know, maybe a few months. So just check it out, look out for it. It's going to happen." And then there it was last year, 2010, and it was, uh, it, was it was a great success. You know, so many people have come into CrossFit, and uh, everyone wants an opportunity to compete. So the field of competitors has obviously come up. We had 186 total competitors that showed up last year. Um, this year we were at 486. So from 186 to 486, and that's of course individuals and teams together. And just, um, you know, I think uh, people that had fear as they've gotten you know, more into it and they've seen more people who are in CrossFit that are just starting and they're fresh, they realize, hey, I've got capacity to, co to compete at some level. So we've had a ton of people come in the scaled divisions here. That grew a ton this year. In the end, you know, I think if, uh, if we sit back and if we think about what it is about our day at the gym, you know, at a CrossFit gym, that we really like, it's the fact that we were in a competitive environment. You know, so we've accomplished something that, uh, that pushed us into a new place. We've accomplished something either it's against ourselves or it's against someone else. Hey, I've never beat that girl and I beat her today. I never did this, I did it today. And so we realized that by giving people this ability, this kind of scalable way to compete, start you know, green, work your way up the ranks, they are now gauging themselves in a much larger pond and they feel way more accomplished when they do that than just in the gym. The logistical hurdles are huge there. And so when you look at that, the, um, it's all, it's, it's time and space. And time is actually a, almost a direct correlation to equipment and accessibility to equipment because the only way you can get this many people through workouts is to have the opportunity to have a lot of people working out at the same time. So, um, so you know, we, we look at Again Faster and think that, you know, that, that was answered there with Again Faster's participation. Um, then, you know, how, what other logistics do we have? Well, the growth of CrossFit in general has brought people who just want to be a part of it, so then the volunteers and the judges. So uh, we increased our total volunteer base by four times to go from last year to this year, even though we didn't complete, you know, we didn't increase the competitors by four times to really deliver the product that we wanted to. We had to bring up that volunteer base by four times. Um, and it actually wasn't that hard to do because people are just so much in love with CrossFit. And those were, those were by far the biggest ones. Um, other than that, you know, you just, uh, you put it out there in the world, uh, the CrossFit world that's growing so rapidly, they just, uh, they just say, hey, we want in, and we want in. And, um, and, and it was amazing. You know, we, we thought we were gonna sell out our individual. We didn't know we were gonna sell it out as quickly or as well as we did. Um, but uh, you know, just the teams, to see 31 teams of six people show up, and that's just a big deal too. We, we think that we serve a great, uh, a, a great need in uh, being able to take out your skills out of the gym and put it into a large scale competition on a more regular basis just to, just to hone. So for the elite competitor, there's that value just to continually hone your competitive skills and you know, get control of your, your butterflies and so forth and prepare you to go to that, that big stage and, and really compete well at the CrossFit Games, hopefully. Um, but then also there's that huge jump you know, to, get, um, you know, to get into the regionals um, from a beginner. That's a huge, huge, huge step. And so we're just trying to serve that, uh, that stepping stone uh, need there too. And so in the end, we don't see ourselves um, um, you know, as, as ever being able to, to offer up the excitement of what, what the CrossFit Games will, and we don't want to. Uh, we look at that and we think that's our Super Bowl of our sport. We want to keep it that way for sure. Um, but we just want to help people have an opportunity to be better you know, in order to get to that Super Bowl. Big step from 2010 where it was one event and then from that one event we had another event and just kind of slapped these together and started to call them the Garage Games to, uh, to this year being a very well organized plan of a total of 15 events. So we've got six other gyms that are host locations um, uh, with those 15 total events over the course of the year. Um, it's going to be pretty cool, we're keeping track. So uh, a competitor who competes in, in one uh, event will be able to see how they compared in that one event but then if they compete in seven at least over the course of the year, they're ranked towards our final. 
So, um, so we're actually going to have an overall kind of scoring, like a NASCAR uh, point scoring as well. So it's a pretty cool way to actually um, test yourself in, in different uh, tests of your work capacity in, in di many different ways. The, the impact is honestly it's best summed up in, um, in what was told to me this weekend by a, um, a scaled female competitor. She, uh, she ran up to me on, on Friday, sometime during check-in, and she said, Hey, Eric, 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 I wanted to, I wanted to talk to you, I wanted to say hi to you, and I wanted to thank you. And um, what she was, she was a photographer last year at our event, and this year she's a competitor. And that's what it's going to be. Everyone who comes and sees this is going to do it for sure.